Okay, so we got a digital microscope here. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to use for looking at like flight controller boards, uh, other electronics. And this is a pretty high-end one. It's got like a really large screen. I think it's like 10.1 inches HDMI out. It's called the Andon Star AD249S-M. And they do make a number of other, uh, I guess, smaller screen models. Uh, with less magnification, but this is one of their newest and high-end models. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the box, take a look at all the components, and see what we can do. Okay, so I actually already put the whole thing together. It was actually really easy. Um, there was a, a quick start assembly guide here. Uh, just a few steps, I think, what, two, six steps total here. Um, it's really not that difficult to parts that are pretty much all together already. So you have the screen, you got the base, and then you have two um, different parts here, one for the column and uh, this beam here that actually holds the screen. And uh, it's actually pretty easy to put together via these little instructions. I didn't have to even read the manual. It does come with a very good manual, of course. Um, but let me just show you really quick everything that comes in here. So you get a standard USB, as a micro USB, cable. This goes to your computer if you want to use this software. Uh, I'll show you that later. HDMI. So this is um, uh, full HDMI to a mini HDMI. Uh, if you want to output to a larger screen other than this super large 10 inch screen, which is pretty big. I, I think it's big enough. So you get this little metal base here with, with the LED lights. Here's the screen itself and this lens. I swapped the lens out. Um, it actually came, it comes with three lenses. This is the L lens, there's a D lens here, and this, uh, this one's called an A lens. For different focal lengths and for different applications, for, I think what I'm going to be mainly using this for, the L lens is going to be the, the one I'm going to be most interested in for circuit boards. You can see here I've got the 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card there in in uh, the view that's on the screen here as you can see. And in the back here, real quick, this is the column that everything's attached to. Here's the base that attaches to the column and then the screen itself goes into um, this side piece here that actually there's some attachment points here that holds it in, and then the lens goes into the the base of the screen right here, with these two screws holds it in place. And then you have this um, dial here. There's a there's a uh, basically some grip on each side. You can rotate this. This focuses the image, so you can see it's currently in focus. But you can obviously adjust the focus here. So very very nice. Uh, there's a, uh, for the 32 gigabyte micro SD card, there's a slot here in the top of the screen, right there. Uh, you can record your videos or, or take photos. I think it's uh, 4K is the maximum resolution. And uh, there's the, uh, HD, uh, the mini HDMI out. That's the USB, micro USB for the power. This other cable here that's included has three outputs here. So this controls the LED lights. So you can turn the lights on and off. You can control the brightness of the lights here with this up and down. Um, this power also also powers off the uh, screen as well. If you turn that off and it'll turn back on. But there's also a power button on the screen itself. Uh, this is all connected to this cable here, which is connected to this power bank. This is not included, this is mine. You need a five volt, uh, two amp USB power source. And so you get this, you get this little um, power cord here goes to the screen and then another power cord that goes in the back here, a little barrel connector that powers these LED lights. But you can also power um, this little, uh, basically just another adapter that's for slides and uh, there's a light in there. You plug that into the back and then if you want to uh, change out, change out to the lens, one of the other lenses to uh, view some of the slides. And they do give you some sample ones here. We'll uh, take a look at those here in a second. Uh, there's some metal clips here that you're supposed to put on the base right here. It goes in there, but I, I'm not going to be using those. Um, I think it's for slides if you want, but uh, probably not install those. You get a remote as well. 
this helps control the screen, change your settings, or you can actually just use the buttons on the screen itself to get into the menu. Anyway, let's go ahead and we'll uh, show you a little demo of each of the lenses and what the magnification and the video quality is like. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Okay, so just a uh, super quick look at the manual. Here's all the specs for you guys that want to look at all the numbers. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a look at it. All the parts, I already showed you some of those. And then they have the QR codes for some videos on product installation and how to choose the different lenses. It's a, overall a solid manual. I did uh, look over it and goes over the assembly, what all the parts are, um, and how to use the products. So anything that I think that I've, I've probably didn't cover in this video uh, definitely should be covered in this manual for sure. Now the first thing I want to take a look at here is this flight controller. Uh, this is going to be good for looking at circuit boards, uh, also for soldering. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm necessarily going to be doing this kind of soldering. It's very, probably for really tiny components. I typically don't do that, but for those of you that might, this could be a very good tool for you. Uh, but yeah, this is a flight control that I reviewed in the past. This is a Speedyb um, F405 V3. And you can see here, you can only get so much resolution looking at it through camera, but then on this microscope, you can see how detailed the image is here. And you can see how, how nicely focused it is. You can move it around, of course. We'll rotate this here. Very, very nice. Uh, actually almost too zoomed in so um, you know for soldering and stuff I'm not not sure if you really need to be that close for some of you that maybe have not such, such good eyesight it could come in handy but yeah taking a look at this you know the image is really nice and sharp it's a uh, you know a pretty good way of looking at your tiny components. Take a look at the uh, bottom of the board here. And you can also examine the sort of the build quality of some of these flight controllers, the soldering. You can see here, so this one's a pretty, this, this one's pretty solid in terms of the way that they put this together. So you can definitely examine things a little bit closer with a tool like this. I think that's what I'm going to be mainly using this for. Something else here, I think they mentioned you could use one of the other lenses for coins, but this is also pretty good for coins. This is an old coin that I've got here. Uh, it's an old dime. I don't know what year this is from. Let's see. You can take a look at it. It's a little out of focus, so you can go here. And you can adjust the focus. And we can move it around. And let's see. No, I think the there's the date there, 1942, I think. This one is not in good shape at all. It's just something I just dug out of an old coin drawer. Yeah, this one's in pretty poor shape, but you can see the the level of detail you can get on this microscope is quite impressive, actually. Just looking at it on the screen. Now, if you want to record, use one of the buttons here. So it's currently in video mode. Um, apparently, this has Wi-Fi. You can connect to your PC via Wi-Fi, but I wasn't able to find that in the manual. I'll, I'll tell, not sure why. Maybe it might be for a different model. But you can just connect it to your PC via the USB cable. I'll show you here shortly. But to record, you just press the OK button. And you can see the recording starts. The record set from 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and it will record what you're doing here. It records that in. I have it currently set to uh, 4K resolution. So I'll go ahead and stop that. And I think if you want to go into your files, you hit this button here. I'll take a photo, go into the menu, that changes the mode, 
Now we can look at our files here. So here's some of the JPEGs. You can see it's a JPEG. There's an MP4 file. Of course you can take it out and uh, take the card out and put it into your computer and uh, play it back that way. You can exit now with that M button and then to, lo to get into the menu, long press the M button. And here you can change your resolution. So it's currently set to uh, 4K 24 frames per second. And you have some other options, there's QHD, I think that's uh, 2.7K or, uh, or 1440p possibly. 30 frames per second, then you have uh, Full HD at 60 frames per second. And uh, Full HD at 30 frames per second, and then if you want higher frames or frame rates, you could get to a lower resolution of HDP, I think that's 720p, up to 120 frames per second. You can adjust some other settings here, your exposure, date stamp, etc. But everything looks pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it alone and go ahead and exit out of this menu. Okay, so I swapped out the lens. We'll try out this um, lens D. It says object distance 4 millimeters to 5 millimeters. We're checking out these uh, include slides. So this one's the Honeybee Worker Leg Composite. There's a, a bunch of other ones here in this little case, little samples. Now, according to the manual, the magnification on this lens is 1800 to 2040. So yeah, it's uh, going to get really detailed. You can also see here that I had to lower the screen using the um, the dials in the back to get the lens very close to the slide. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this here so we can move it around. And pretty amazing actually. Not sure how useful this would be in a biology class or anything like that. Possibly you could use this to look at cells, maybe skin cells, blood cells, something like that. But pretty impressive. A little detail on this. And obviously you have to do a little work to get it to focus. It's not automatic, it's all manual. But uh, not, not terribly time consuming. All right, so let's go ahead and hook this up to the PC and I'll show you what the app looks like on the computer. All right, so when you plug in the um, screen to your PC, this uh, with the USB cable, you get this little menu. If you select mass storage, it'll just show up the uh, uh, 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. So you want to select PC camera, hit OK. And then over on your PC, you want to install this program called Microscope Measure. Uh, there was a link in the manual to the um, download link. So just uh, download that and install it. And then you go to File, Open, uh, Open Device, select USB mode, USB camera, hit OK. And there we go, we have, that's the uh, honeybee leg that we were looking at earlier, that slide. And you can use this app to take measurements. We do have to do a calibration procedure. Uh, it's covered in the manual. Um, also, you can record your videos here and take photos as well directly to the PC if you'd rather uh, work with the PC directly instead of the um, screen. Anyway, I think that's going to cover for this video. Pretty cool product. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty useful for future videos. I think whenever I do a flight controller or some sort of electronics uh, review part, I'm going to definitely show you guys what the quality of that part looks like on a microscope. So check out the link in the video description if you want to see this for yourself. That's going to do it for this one. Talk to you guys later.